Hello viewers, for DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on the six different tips to help sell your vehicle. As always, don't forget to check out my website, www.4diyers.com, or click on the link in the description below, and be sure to also check out my social media pages such as Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. These tips certainly aren't limited to what I've shown in this video. If you do have a tip, please be sure to share it in the comments below. Starting out with tip number one, write a descriptive ad. Think like a buyer. What would you like to know about the vehicle? Perhaps they have a list of requirements of what they're looking for in their next vehicle, such as a year, engine size, air conditioning, keyless entry, power windows, etc. So list those items. First start with the year of your vehicle, make, model, engine size, transmission type, if it's two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, or all-wheel drive, mileage, comfort features, etc. Tip number two, take high quality photos. Too many times I've seen ads where people post photos of their vehicles using photos from Instagram, taken in a dark area, too far away, or even worse, no photo at all. Judging for yourself, which photo would you prefer? Potential buyers today tend to be visually oriented, so the amount of people looking at an ad without a photo is extremely small. I've actually scored some good deals inquiring about items with no or poor photos as the seller was motivated to sell the item due to the fact that they were sitting on it too long. Cell phones now take excellent quality photos and most people have access to them. Taking it a step further, I use a DSLR camera. Provide at least four photos of the exterior, one of each corner, one of the driver's area, perhaps a back seat if applicable, passenger side area, behind the seats, etc. Next is the engine bay. Depending on the type of vehicle, whether it's a truck, sedan, wagon, van, or SUV, take a photo of the trunk space or box. It's best to take photos on a brighter, cloudy day, not sunny as this can create overly saturated areas. If you prefer to cover up your license plate, stick a piece of paper over top of it or use a image editing software, there are plenty of free versions available. Tip number three, while quality photos do help, a video is even more helpful. I've touched on this point on my buy and sell lawnmower series. Videos are extremely helpful as they open up the market to potential buyers who may be willing to drive further for a vehicle. Considering there is more detail with a car, the video should be around 3 minutes long, consisting of a walk around of the exterior, perhaps the interior, starting up the vehicle, allowing it to run for a moment, and maybe testing a few options such as the power windows, air conditioning, power mirrors, wipers, etc. Even show the gauge cluster, demonstrating if there's any fault lights on, what the mileage is, and how the vehicle idles, indicated with a tachometer. There are plenty of free video upload hosting sources, YouTube being one of them. Simply upload the video. If the video is a little shaky, YouTube provides a free service to help repair this. Then link the video in your electronic classified ad, or if that is impossible, provide a detail stating that a virtual tour video is available upon request through email. Tip number four, repair any small flaws to maximize profit. If there is any small repairs required, such as stone chips, windshield chip, faulty sensor causing a check engine light, missing trim, etc., these faults can be viewed as bargaining points or turnoffs for a potential buyer, and it's best to limit these issues as much as possible. This can get costly in a budget, so try to pick the cheap and easy repairs first. Even attempt to fix these items yourself if you are comfortable with your skill set. And I do have plenty of tutorial videos on how to do various repairs on your vehicle, so be sure to check them out on my channel for your needs. Tip number five, clean the vehicle. New owners appreciate a clean vehicle, and it gives an impression that the vehicle has been well taken care of. This can be done yourself, or if you don't have time, hire a private mobile detailer. This can include anything from a basic wash and vacuum to a paint correction and an interior shampoo. This is another point where potential buyers won't be turned off by a dirty vehicle, they may also ignore any mechanical faults and reduces a bargaining point. And finally, tip number six, don't limit yourself to just one sales source. Maximize your potential buyer's reach by using those free sources such as online classifieds, local newspapers, posting an ad in a gas station or grocery store, telling your mechanic, friends or family, park the vehicle by a busy road with a for sale sign, mount a for sale sign in the window while driving, and even social media. This will enable a quick sale and maximize profit. Perhaps you may even consider putting your vehicle up on a consignment at a local dealership. But keep in mind, this may cut into your profit as they do charge a commission.
Auctions are also an option, but they don't necessarily guarantee a high value unless you state a reserve, and again, there will be a commission fee. New videos are released every week on my channel. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and drop a comment below if you found this video helpful. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future tutorial videos. Thank you for watching.